Okay, boys. Tell the vlog where are we going today? Yep, so we got our Mickey Mouse shirts on today. Show me your Mickey Mouse shirts. Look! Mm-hmm. We had we got these last year when we went to hey! Disney World. Yeah, we're matching. We're both wearing jeans, huh? Oh, we're all wearing jeans. Oh yeah. Hello, goodbye. And we're matching because we both have Mickey Mouse shirts. Yeah. So yes, today we are going to Disney on Ice. It is all of our first times really going to Disney on Ice. I've never been in my whole life. I don't really think Disney on Ice was a thing when I was a kid. Or if it was, my parents just were like, yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> I don't really know. Disney on Ice is every day. Yeah, it's not every day. It's just today. Mama, we really want to go to Disney on Ice. I'm so excited to go see Disney on Ice. Yeah, so a couple months ago, we went, I went with my mom and sisters to go see Pentatonix in concert. And while we were at the venue, they were... They always like advertise for shows in the future and they were advertising for um, Disney on Ice to come in February I and I was like oh my I gosh my kids would love Disney on Ice they're so into Disney right now but I was like oh I bet the tickets are expensive because everything Disney is expensive and hey. I'm not gonna pay like hundreds of dollars for a kid's show but I went online and looked anyway sorry I'm um, emptying the dishwasher while I'm talking to you I went online just to look just for fun and actually tickets were $20 a person I was shocked at how cheap they were now of course these $20 tickets are in the nosebleed so it's not like you're right up close I think the ones like on the floor were maybe a hundred still not that bad but i was not about to spend a hundred like hundreds of dollars on my kids when we hadn't even done this before who knows if they'll like it or not so anyway i was telling my mom and my sister allison about how i found these 20 dollars tickets and i'm gonna take the boys and i honestly was just planning on just taking the boys myself and then my sister allison and my mom were like no, we want to come too. We want to take the boys to Disney on Ice with you, which I thought was awesome because now I don't have to go alone, which sounded like a lot. So yeah, we're all going to go together. So I went and um, purchased five tickets all in a row. We're at the very top <laughs> on the side, but it's just like an ice skating rink in the middle. So I really don't think there's like a bad view. And... I'm sure they'll like be videoing it and like display it on the big video board. That's usually how they do it, like at other events. So I think it'll be good. You know, my kids are super into all of the, the kids just keep playing music and I lost my train of thought. I don't know what I was talking about. I don't know. My kids are just on something. I don't know. Anyway. Why don't you guys go play in the basement? Go play in the basement. They're driving me crazy. So anyway, um, oh, that's what I was talking about. My kids are obsessed with Disney music. We have the Disney Sirius XM channel in my minivan. We listen to it all the time. They're, they're only doing certain characters. Like, I guess they have four shows that run um, at the same time, and they're just all around the country at different times. So the one that's coming here today... It obviously, obviously has, like, Mickey and Minnie and all them. But then, like, the movies that they're showcasing are Tangled, which I swear is my boy's, like, favorite. Moana, my kids love. Uh, Frozen, another big hit with my kids. And then, randomly, Coco, which kind of shocked me that they're having Coco part of this because I just didn't feel like Coco was that like big of a hit. I love Coco. Like I love the music and the story is really cute. I just was like, hmm, that's interesting. So I had to show my kids the movie because I was like, they're going to need to know like, what's going on and what the songs are. So we watched that a while ago. Um, oh, also they have Cinderella, which my kids love Cinderella. 
and then Beauty and the Beast. So actually quite a few like characters that we're gonna see. So I don't exactly know what to expect if they like go through the stories or they just play like the hits. I don't really know. So we're gonna go and find out. Uh, they said it's just like a little under two hours or a little over two hours, I think. And then there's like a quick intermission. So it's not long. Obviously kids only stay entertained for so long. Hopefully my boys um, don't get bored and stay entertained. So I'm really interested to see how it's gonna go. I'll definitely vlog um, little bits here and there. You are allowed to vlog the show and stuff. They did say that online. You can take pictures, you can video. Sometimes they're like, no, you can't video. You can only take pictures, but they don't really like enforce it. But this one, they're like, no, you can do as much as you want. So yeah, we're gonna go and see what there is to see. My kids have been asking every day for the past like two weeks if it's time for Disney on Ice and they knew as soon as February hit that when it was February we're gonna go see Disney on Ice so as soon as like February 1st hit they were like so excited like can't wait so I'm really excited to take them I think it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm not taking Avery I'm just gonna take the two boys Avery is little won't care it'll be overwhelming to her I think it'll be a little loud and she likes her naps in her crib so Anthony is going to stay back with Avery. They're going to have like a father-daughter bonding time. And um, she's going to stay back. And then my sister Allison, she's leaving her daughter Ivy um, with her husband. Um, so the babies aren't coming. It's just for the two boys, which is fun because it's always nice to like do special things for certain kids. So I think it'll be a super fun and... My kids are so excited for it. And 20, for 20 bucks, I mean, I just feel like you can't really beat that price. So I will let you know how it goes, but we're very excited. And oh, I wanted to show you guys. So I looked up online. Again, I've never been to Disney on Ice. And I was looking up online, like, what are some tips and tricks for Disney on Ice? Is there anything I should know before going? And um, the consensus seemed to be... Before you go, get your own light-up toy because Disney is going to be selling them for way too much money and your kids are going to want them, they're going to beg you for them, and you're going to be in trouble when they want a wand and you don't want to spend like $100 on a toy wand that's going to break in a couple minutes. So I took that advice and I went on Amazon and I got, um, I don't know if you can see them, I got these light up wands. Um, I'll show you in the back. Okay, it's kind of hard to see because they have this sticker like right on front, but this is what it looks like. Um, it's basically a two pack, so it's a blue and a red snowflake. And basically it lights up and then I think the snowflakes twirl as well. Okay, I actually just got them out because I was like, I should actually like get them out, make sure they work. Hopefully they work. I don't actually know how to make them work. Well, I think I may need to put batteries in them because they're not turning on. So I guess I need to look at the box and see if there's something I need to do. But hopefully I can get these working because um, that's what they said the like major tip and trick was, which is to, I bet you it needs like AAA batteries, is to bring these um, light up wands and then you'll save yourself money. So that's what I'm doing. I'm sure we'll end up getting snacks and stuff. But anywhere to cut costs, um, I will do. I think these were like $6 on Amazon or something. It was like super cheap. So if you're doing Disney on Ice in the future, I highly recommend go on Amazon, get a light up wand, you'll save yourself money.
guys, I am editing this video right now. And I realized I never finished the vlog and told you guys what we thought of Disney on Ice. So I thought I'd quickly recap it for you. It was a super cute show. It was short. It was like a little less than two hours. I think Grayson thought it was a little long, which I guess for a kid, maybe it is. They had like six storylines that they went through. Our seats were fine. No, we weren't up super close, but we still heard everything. We still saw everything. It was totally fine where we were. It was cute. They had all like the major songs from each of the movies. And basically they went through like the storyline of each movie, except for Coco. For some reason on Coco, all they did was have him sing like the main song from Coco. It was just one song and that was it. Like they didn't go through his storyline or anything like that. Super random, don't know why they had Coco a part of the show. But all the other ones, Moana, Frozen, they basically took you through the movie in a short condensed version while still keeping like the major songs. Obviously the hits that we heard most of the people singing were Frozen and Moana. So it was a cute show. The boys had a great time. We got snacks and popcorn and candy and they had awesome time. It was super fun. So yeah, it was great. I would totally do it again, especially for the price of 20 bucks. Like it's really not that bad. They had like snow falling at one point and um, just like really cool effects. And yeah, it was good. All the um, skaters, like nobody fell. So they were like really professional. We were actually looking it up just for fun to see like how much these skaters make. They make, the main skaters make like 100,000 a year. It's actually a pretty good gig if you know how to skate. So yeah, it was a really cute show. Glad we went and saw it. And it was nice to just spend some quality time with the boys um, without Avery. So anyway, that's the end of the vlog. Let me know down below. Have you been to Disney on Ice? Did you like it? Maybe when one of the other shows come to town. It seems to come once a year in February, at least here in Columbus. Um, maybe we'll go see another show. So, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!